Hello everybody and welcome to an unboxing and review of the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly 3s. The shoe that apparently makes you run a lot faster. So starting off, these are in size 10 and a half. You can see the different dimensions there. Nice typical Nike box, orange color logos where they've always been located. And we're going to go ahead and, once I give you a nice view of the box, go ahead and dig into this thing. So after we remove the paper, one of the first things you're going to notice is the colors in this. I'll go into that a little bit more. A little bit of extra cushion there, but these colors are pretty awesome. Um, they definitely help you stand out and make you look like you're going a million miles an hour, even if you're just standing still. Uh, the weight overall, 7.1 ounces, is pretty good for a racer for 5Ks and up. You got a nice foam midsole for speed and cushion. You've got a nice thin um, weight saving waffle outsole which gets you nice traction. And of course the carbon fiber fly plate which is what people say makes you go faster and offset laces so you get a lot better pressure on your foot. So the overall color of these shoes is Volt Black Screen Green. That's how it's classified on the box so I'm not going to debate that. It's actually a pretty colorful ride that's going to get you a lot of good notice there as I kind of give you a full overview of the shoes themselves. And of course you got the vapor fly, you can see a little bit of the inside there, the inner tags, and that's about everything that came with the, uh, with the box. Now looking at these things again, you got that little pad in the back for your heel, the nice little orange pad, and of course the elongated foam um, outsole there on the back, it's kind of triangular shaped. So I'm um, just going to go ahead and put these things on, these laces are like uh, very thin but also very, very nice. A little bit stretchable and everything else, so very comfortable riding your foot. And let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, we've got these bad boys on. Let's go ahead and take them for a run and see how they do. Okay, so first impression after doing a nice little loop there is man. These things are amazing. Barely thought I was jogging, and I was already decently above my uh, average jogging pace by about 40 seconds. So, second, these things are moon boots. You can definitely tell the spring, and just a complete effortless motion. I'll have to get my uh, insert in because I got a little bit of heel lift and some wide feet, but thus far, so far, so good. Okay, well, just got my first kind of training run in these things. About four miles, just kind of break these things in and get a feel for them. So, uh, yeah, obviously I'm not going to be using these as daily trainers. Pretty much just going to save these for, like, races, things of that nature. And, oh my gosh, after running four miles in these, I can tell you why. Like, even the low effort portions, my splits were still, like, 30 seconds below what I would be doing in training if I was, like, actually trying to put in some high cardio stuff. So normally I run about like maybe nine minutes on a casual jogging day and like even at the lowest point, it was like 8.35 when I was still kind of feeling a bit of a burn. So that is a pretty amazing thing. Um, you know, been running for 25 years and it's kind of like a, you know, magic wand. And granted, I've never tried vapor flies before, but uh, these things are pretty legit. Um, definitely these things are dangerous. <laughs> That's how good they are because these things are bouncy. You don't even feel like you're going faster than you normally would, but you look down at your watch and it's like, holy cow, you know, I'm actually flying in these things. So <sighs> definitely, definitely very dangerous shoes in a good way. <laughs> definitely these things are racers, not probably best suited for running on grass or anything of that nature. Um, you know, sometimes along the road I have to run the shoulder to avoid traffic. Didn't quite get the same response predictably, of course. Um, but these things are straight road racers, and you will be dropping time like crazy once you switch to these things. Like, I say that with like 25 years, it makes me feel old, of running and races and everything else. So, yeah, definitely these things are going to be my go-to racers from uh, here on out. But just amazing, amazing, amazing response here on the, uh, on the initial run for these things. So, um, the one thing about them is they are quite expensive shoes. I believe I got these for around 240 or so, so 
that performance does come with a price. But if it's something you plan on wearing for a few years and doing races with, obviously not as everyday trainers, there's some good value in that and that you won't be buying you know, racing shoes or racing flats for road races for a very long time. So yeah, going to get these things taken off and do a once around to see how they held up and uh, call it a day. And surprise, surprise, these things held out pretty well overall, as you can see. After a good four mile run, um, no issues, no defects, nothing blew apart. So overall, pretty solid running shoe. Um, as always, thanks for watching this quick and I stress quick overview and unboxing of these shoes. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching the channel and please watch all the other content I have. And also, please do give these shoes a tryout.